Uh, uh, yesterday we went to the market. Oh my gosh, the amount of crop that is being sold there is like the indigenous African foods that are being sold there is a lot. And this is like healthy and stuff that's good for you. And I was going to show some of the food, but I realized we've been munching on it. Like just now, we've just finished uh, another batch of cowpeas. Did you finish the whole bag? Mm. <laughs> I was going to show you our market shopping. Um, so we've got some sweet potatoes and some are actually here. And um, I did mention the other week that we are doing a boiled food diet. And I'll get into why in a few in, in some days in a few days <laughs> uh the next time i upload i'll get into why we've been doing this boiled food and it's been working amazing for us and so we've brought in more food that we can actually boil and eat like that and um these are the african squashes there's a uh, quite a few of them in here and um yeah and then we had the traditional wild wild fruit. Uh, in Sizona, we call it Emilio. What do you call it here? Envio. 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 Okay, hold on. Let me show you. Oh, by the way, here's a moringa tree, <laughs> which was bought this morning. There's someone who, who brought it. Uh, the other day, Amon bought apple trees from them. And then... um. And then he had wanted a moringa tree because moringa heals a lot of things. And this morning he delivered the moringa tree for us. But we had already started our own moringa tree because we harvested some moringa one day when we were walking. And we broke a couple of branches and now they are shooting leaves. And Amon was like, ooh, I had already nursed my own moringa. But anyway, he bought it. This is the fruit. Uh, they were they were selling in a can, and we bought half of the can. I don't know how I can I don't know how to explain how big the can was. We bought half of the can. It was meant to be fifty cents, but they robbed they robbed us. No, mm. they sold it for fifteen rand. So in Zim, normally when we trade, a dollar is twenty rand. So. Meaning that if you buy something for 50 cents, they have to give you a change for 10 rands back, right? But in town and at the markets, people tend to give you 5 rand change back for 50 mm -hmm. cents, which, which really doesn't make sense. Anyways, uh, we bought these. So I'm the type of person that I want things to be finished and done. Amon was, was trying to find a way that he can give them, pay them in rand <laughs> instead of paying with his dollar and pay 10 rand and i was i was like come on i'm on let's go and i'm on is like you are not a negotiator <laughs> <laughs> so anyways um yeah we had some nice foods that we bought like yesterday and then together with the with the diet uh the, the other week Can you show? Can you grab some show? So the other week we're eating this. This we call my putty. You pop them from maize, not mm. from the popcorn corn. You pop it from the maize corn. And you eat it dry like this. <laughs> it's got no salt as well. But I've seen ones that have a sweet chili spice that were really nice. But anyway, we we figured out that it's working for our diet as well. And so we we buy them in we were going to put them in small little bags. I hope we've got enough to bag all of this. And uh, I said to Amon, I want a small packet of the colorful ones. I do enjoy the colorful ones. I asked him for a small packet. You have me. <laughs> <laughs> I asked him for a small packet of the colorful ones and he gave me a whole bag. I enjoyed them. I really love these with coffee. <laughs> <laughs> A weird thing to have with coffee, I know, but but I love them with coffee. Yeah, we're missing the red color. Mm, I was about to say they only put two colors here. Mm. 
so we've got these small little bags we're going to be begging them now the aim is to try to eat one or two a day i've just realized that since it started raining i haven't shared with you guys um yeah this is when we're normally winding up the summer and about to begin winter in may really and uh it's april and the rain has just now come but praise the lord because um people have been expecting things to not go well with livestock because there's no food when there's no grass there's no food and yeah the worry was that animals are going to die and um a lot of people with boreholes and all rivers and streams had dried up and basically we're just praying that everything fills up there's water and at least there's food for livestock for for us it's, it's a bit late to replant um yeah but we pray that the grass grows and there's food for livestock It's really been pouring properly. It's like raining proper, proper. Hey guys, I wanted to show you our garden. <laughs> I have recorded this video before and um, I wasn't able to upload it and here I am recording it again but um, this is the sweet corn just the other day it was short and then it started uh, tussling and then it grew a little bit taller than really it was and the plants in the garden are a couple of weeks old only this is the lettuce, of course. This is a different type of chamoilia. Um, when Amon came with it, it kind of looked like flowers. And this is the the um, spring onions are doing a lot better and whenever we are cooking and we don't have onion we actually use them but we use them in things like salads as well um, egg rolls and stuff like that chomolia chomolia here Amon was just increasing the, the chomolia bed with these smaller ones here and we got cauliflower and broccoli cauliflower and broccoli they all just tend to look the same when they were when they are young this is the garden this is the garden and that's it that's the lone plant of um what is it called ladies fingers okra the lone plant of okra there were a few of them here. I think the others didn't survive, so it's the only survivor. Anyways, that's it. That's it for the garden. So we just got home from walking, actually, and we sat down and had some tea. And I am getting some snack going here. And then in a little bit, I'm going to start cleaning the house. Amon is outside kicking sauce with the neighbors. <laughs> um, yeah, we, we walk uh, six kilometers and it's an up and down road, not a flat road. It's a hard walk and it takes us two hours to walk. <laughs> two, two hours, 10,000 steps. If you're walking 10,000 steps, I know there are people out there who walk 10,000 steps. Let me know how much time you walk it in because I'm trying to see if we're just slow. <laughs> are we just slow or what yeah it takes us two hours to walk 
6 kilometers, 10,000 steps. Show you guys what's cooking. This is what we're going to be eating for brunch. <laughs> yeah, we love traditional food. Amon was telling the guy who works next door um, about the, the, the types of foods we found at the market. He was pretty chuffed and the guy was like, hey, you really like, <laughs> you like traditional food. Is that him? You like Chivano food. <laughs> I'm grazing some good stuff here. But this one, it looks a bit mature. But the seeds are still a little bit soft, but... Mm. It's edible. The seeds are a bit soft, but it was maturing. So although uh, a lot of people lost their crop this side in Matebele land, it seems like in Mashona, Mashona land, in some areas... It rained, so they've done well. Lorries were coming to deliver in town. And some people went to Moshanoland to go buy food. <laughs> 